30, 1 through 4 says, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldst mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? But there is forgiveness with thee, that thou may be feared. 1 Corinthians 13, one of the aspects of real God-type love is that love keeps no record of wrongs. We learn from John the Apostle that we love God because he loved us first. God is love. God is holy. Yet when we come to him and ask his forgiveness, he does it. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 22 says, I have blotted out as a thick, thick cloud thy transgressions, as a cloud thy sins. Return to me, for I have redeemed thee. Isaiah 43, uh, 25 says, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and remembers your sins no more. Rich, isn't it? It's a simple step to apply it to me. 1 John 4, 11, Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought to love one another. And Ephesians 4.32, you know it. Be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Hubert Humphrey was a former uh, vice president of the United States. When he died, hundreds of people from across the world attended his funeral. And they were all welcome except for one. Former President Richard Nixon, who had, um, not long before that dragged himself and his country through the humiliation and the shame of Watergate. And his eyes turned away and conversations ran dry around him. Nixon could feel the ostracism that was being ladled out to him. Then the, the serving president at that time, Jimmy Carter, walked into the room. Now Carter was from a different political party of Nixon, well known for his honesty and his integrity. As he moved to his seat, President Carter noticed Richard Nixon standing all alone. Jimmy Carter immediately changed course, walked over to Richard Nixon, held out his hand and smiling genuinely and broadly embraced Nixon and said, Welcome home. Mr. President, welcome home. The incident was reported by Newsweek magazine, which wrote, if there was a turning point in Nixon's long ordeal in the wilderness, it was that moment and that gesture of love, forgiveness, and compassion. You, you part of that, Pastor Steve.